a few years ago, if you had told me this, I was the kind of person who would have immediately like rejected it and be like, nah, <laughs> never, like this doesn't work. Oftentimes eating can become this kind of solitary, utilitarian thing where it's like, I just got to sit down, get this uh, food quickly and then kind of move on to the next thing on my to-do list. Um, mm. So I just wondered if you could share your thoughts, uh, either of you, Sarah or Serena, on, you know, the, the potential negative consequences of doing that and maybe some advice for people if they do kind of want to enrich their uh, their connection to food and, and how they enjoy it and use it to bring others together and form social connections. I think this is for Sarah because Sarah has Sarah loves like food gratitude and thinking about where it all came from. I will just say my worst kind of people are those people who say like, if I could have all my daily meals in a pill or a shake, I would do it. <laughs> I don't understand those people. I'm far too greedy and I love cooking too much. But no, I'll let Sarah answer this one. Well, I thought you were going to say that, Serena, actually. I thought you were going to push me <laughs> to answer this. But before, yeah, I'm going to share something, James, if you don't mind on like food gratitude but before I do I do think um that moment that we do sit down to eat you're so right it has become so rushed and sometimes we're still working at our laptops and just kind of shoving food in our in our faces and when we eat in a relaxed way we can digest our food better like that is you know that is how our body works if we're in our parasympathetic nervous system our state of rest and digest we will digest our food and it will sit more comfortably within us you know everything will work properly if we're in that state of if we're in our sympathetic nervous system so our uh, fight or flight phase stage then our food won't digest because our body is overworking on all the other things it's you know our brain's still stirring it's getting ready to fight things off so when we can take a moment to sit down and enjoy our food even if that's, you know, by yourself and that's probably been a big experience for people over the last year and a half is eating by themselves if you live alone. But even, yeah, to sit down and really appreciate your food. I, I have mentioned this on the podcast before. Um, I, I came up with this food gratitude thing and it's probably, I probably didn't come up with it. I probably borrowed it from someone. But if you sit down with your meal and you look at everything that's on your plate and it could be, I don't know, chickpeas or sweet potato or whatever veg you've got. And you might also have cooked with some spices, cooked with salt, cooked with oil. To see everything on your plate, every ingredient that's gone into your meal and think, wow, just how much work has everything been through to get here, to get in front of me. And it's a really nice practice of gratitude and food appreciation rooting us back into the earth and um yeah reconnecting us with our food because it is like it's all part of the world we're all together we're all doing the same thing we're all growing and you know so to have that appreciation is a really lovely thing and it could even be shared at a dinner table when you do come together with a family or friends and you catch up even I guess it's a bit like saying grace I'm mm. I'm not religious but I that's like a beautiful moment to do that you know to to come together and feel that gratitude for everything you've got yeah I think quite nice yeah definitely like and also just the research on gratitude is like that's mountain like it's increasingly coming out that people who do have some kind of intentional you know gratitude practice whether that's they write down three things that they're grateful for in the morning or in the evening or like you said pausing before you have a meal and thinking about all the different people that have kind of made it possible um you know it might sound a bit like a few years ago if you had told me this i was the kind of person who would have immediately like rejected it and be like no nah, <laughs> never like this doesn't work but then you cut you kind of you know look at you know, serious scientists are looking into this stuff and it really does have a powerful effect on your state of mind and how you mm -hmm. kind of interact with others. So uh, I think that's a really nice practice that, that people can take away and try out. Mm -hmm.